Facing challenges. Water rafting is an adventurous outdoor team activity. It is done in white water or different degrees of rough water using an inflatable raft. The sport is challenging and considered to be dangerous if the necessary safety precautions are not followed. This has now become a popular sport. However, it is necessary to minimize the impact of this sport on nature. There should be a leave not trace policy when engaging in rafting. The sportsmen should learn to dispose of waste properly, leave what they find in the wilderness, respect wildlife, keep fires small, etc. There is another popular action sport called skydiving. This is also known as parachuting. Skydiving is done by jumping out of an aircraft and falling for as long as one safely can before opening the parachute. Once the sportsmen jump out of the aircraft, they fall freely with the aid of gravity. The real challenge is to slow down the fall and reach the earth with the help of the parachute. The sport is practiced even during the 18th century in it is said that in 1797, Andrew Jack Jenner jumped from a hot air balloon with a parachute. It was the first incident of truly modern skydiving. In the military, it's used as a backup safely mechanism for airmen. Many modern militaries use skydiving for troop development. While firefighters, while firefighters also parachute to reach remote sites so that they can be on the ground quickly. At present, it's a well-known recreational sport. Suffering is done with the help of a supper board. It is an act of riding on a wave, especially a sea wave. This can be challenging when the waves become rough. There are three major styles of suffering. This is done in natural waves as well as in artificial waves. The sport has developed into a number of other types, including skateboarding, wakeboarding, skimboarding, and wingboarding, among others. Skateboarding is popular among teenagers. This is an action sport which enables riding and performing tricks on the skateboarding. Pole vaulting is a challenging sport. In this track and field, field event, the sportman uses a long flexible pole as an, aid, as an aid to jump over a bar. Pole jumping competitions were known to the ancient Greeks Cretans and Celt. The sportsman should have a speed of a sprinter, the flexibility of a gymnast, and the vertical jump of a jumper. This needs courage to jump up in the free air with a pole. The sportsman need not only to jump a considerable height but also to land correctly. This has been a full medal event at the Olympic Games since 1896 for men and since 2000 for women.